Hi guys, Steph here. Okay, right, well as you people know, I'm normally a fountain pen person, a vintage fountain pen person, but this is one of a couple of pens that came to me for a service, restoration, etc. And I thought, right, well it's an interesting uh, item, so let's do a review. What we have for you here is a Anotto ink pencil. Yeah, yeah, oh yes, I know, I can hear you shouting, pencil! <laughs> yes, it's an Anotto ink pencil, a self-filling ink pencil. Now, this one, although like I say, I don't normally deal with pencils, this one is actually based on a Anotto Minor fountain pen i.e. that it's a plunger filler which we'll show you in a moment um the size of it from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel around about 119 millimeters capped around the barrel it's a nice 11 millimeters in diameter and as you can see it looks as if it's in this sort of a black color um it's got this barley corn chasing um, actually while we're on the cap there let's show you the cap it's got this uh, nickel cap band to the bottom of the cap there and we've got this cap stood to the very top there and as you can see there you can see the the chase pattern on the cap now this one whether it actually had a clip or not I'm not 100% sure I have I've actually seen these without a clip and I've seen them with a clip now the lovely thing about it is the caps on this particular pen normally they're very difficult to take the cap stud off because the ink inside in effect it sort of glues them on but this pen has been thoroughly cleaned etc so says he <laughs> so the customer if he finds himself a clip he can just simply take off the cap stud there as you can see uh, pop a clip on and that just simply screws back onto the cap there so whether it had a clip or not we're not 100% sure but let's carry on regardless let's show you the barrel imprint okay now what you'll see let's keep it nice and still it says to the left it says self and then in the middle it's actually got a notto ink pencil or yeah in the middle and then to the right there you can see filling so it's a self filling pen and then if we just move it sort of up a little bit you can see it says Delarue uh, British made London and then all the way underneath there it's got BR patent applied for okay so let's give you a slightly different view there so it's got a nice clear barrel imprint as you can see there and again stating that it's the Anotto ink pencil now another th lovely thing about this particular pen is it's got what we term as an ink view barrel i.e. it's actually see-through now again I've shown you lots of these pens, always difficult to actually show you the transparency, but let's bring on my little torch and hopefully, there we go. Okay, so you can see it's got this sort of a lattice pattern all the way through and you can see it's sort of clear so you can see inside there, you can see the rod inside, inside the barrel. So it's got this lovely ink view transparent lattice barrel. Let's take that to one side. Let's take the cap off for you. Let's first of all just give you some of the com complimentary little twirls, show you the pen. As I say, it came to me. I fully restored it, cleaned everything, put new plunger washer in, put new cork seals at the bottom. Um, took it all apart everything's been thoroughly cleaned now there's the section the section nothing different about it very similar to the fountain pens the difference being on the nib 
well it's not so much a nib on this one you can see it's got this sort of a transparent cone and then to the very end there you've got this metal sort of nib if you like and it's actually a tube and inside there you, you'll actually see it's got this sort of red and when, when I took it all apart to clean it it's like a little torpedo shaped um, metal piece if you like and to the very top of the inside there hopefully you can see it it's got this little piece of wire to the very top there and somehow as I say I'm not a pencil person okay but what happens I believe is that it, some, it sort of regulates the ink flow this this sort of metal torpedo shaped inside you can see there the wire I think let me just no let's just and it's actually it actually moves believe it or not but I'm not sure if you can see the wire comes out slightly outside the nib there but as I say not normal my normal sort of fountain pens but it is a pencil it is an Anotto it is based on as I said the Anotto minor fountain pen and as we said it is a, a plunger filler which means we simply unscrew the plunger knob pull out the plunger like so and to fill it what we do is put the sort of the nib section in there in the ink and press down in one swift motion like so which creates a vacuum which in turn sucks the ink into the barrel and again if I do it you can hear sort of the satisfying sort of like a it's sort of like a a popping sound if you like okay to the end there this sort of dull popping sound right what we're going to do again I wouldn't normally do it but it's it's new to me so well it's just as much of interest to me I don't know if it's worked this is the first time I'm testing it so you're seeing exactly what I'm seeing live so let's pop the sort of the nib in the ink let's be quiet and I think you could actually hear that there was lots of sort of bubbling going on which is precisely what we want to hear now let's get a tissue let's give that a little bit of a wipe let's screw the plunger all the way home okay and let's have a look actually I'm looking over the camera and it still seems for some reason if you see there I don't know how clear that is to you it's still quite clean so what I'm going to do I'm going to try that again so let's put it over the let's pull the plunger out let's pop it back in the ink okay and to be honest with you I can't actually see if there's any if there's any ink oh yes there's a little bit in there so let's uh, let's give that a wipe let's put that to one side a little bit unprepared today so let's let's screw the, uh, the plunger back you can see by the the nib section there as before it was sort of nice and clear and transparent you can see now it looks black so we've got ink ink in the pen let's bring on our pad and let's see if it writes as I say this is the first time it's been tested it's all quite new to me so it'll be interesting to see how it writes and if it does write so what we have is a anotto anotto ink pencil now what date are we sort of dating it I'm dating it 
sort of 1930s, 1940s. Um, as we said before, Della Rue of London. It's actually <laughs> it's actually quite strange writing it because it's the first time I've actually ever done it. Um, yeah, quite strange, but as you can see, it's actually working lovely. We won't go into whether it actually has any flex or not because I wouldn't expect it to be because it's a pencil. As you can see, it's writing, um, writing with a a nice fine line. Made in England. Um, as we said, it's a. It's a safe self-filling, well, as we said, ink, ink pencil. So there we go. <laughs> Rather unusual to write with. It's the first time I've actually written with one and actually, well, it's the first time I've serviced one. But as you can see, it's writing very nicely. Writing with, I would say, with a fine line. But... <laughs> Yeah, quite surprisingly, a very, very nice writer. Okay, so let's put that to one side. So there we have it. Let's put the cap back on. What we'll do, we'll empty the pen. We'll flush it out before we send it back to the customer. So there we have it. Rather unusual. Never done one before. A Onotto ink pencil or a self self-filling ink pencil from Delarue and Company from around about I don't know 1930s 1940s it looks to be in black with this sort of barleycorn pattern but as we showed you before it's got a lovely transparency um, and this lovely sort of ink view lattice barrel so I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as always as much as I enjoy showing them to you people don't forget down below leave a comment give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and down below if you possibly can please support my work and don't forget yes it's still out there so let's be careful stay safe but from me and this lovely pencil I'll just say bye-bye for now.